Sweat it to the truth, nothing but the truth. Put my hands on the Bible, y'all put me to the booth. Yo, new season, new colors, new merch, new swag. Go over to Imago Day Apparel Shop and get in your bag with our latest gear. I promise you won't be disappointed. Rep the kingdom, I rock in his image. Every order and purchase goes into helping me bring you better content. And so every order and purchase is greatly appreciated. We thank you for the support and as always, peace and love. And right now, our red, white, and blue sale is going on 15% off any red, white, blue maroon or navy item so go over there to a mago day go get you some merch bro but what's going on man so we got a crazy one for you all today man so mayor brandon johnson blames richard nixon after 109 were shot and 19 were killed on his fourth of july weekend in chicago man check this out so we cut off the pipeline of boys between the ages of 10 and 19 being either victims or the perpetrators. So, yeah, it is personal. Black death has been unfortunately accepted in this country for a very long time. We had a chance 60 years ago to get at the root causes and people mocked President Johnson. And we ended up with Richard Nixon so to blame Richard Nixon just because he's a Republican is crazy. But to imply that things will be different with the president who said, I'll have those niggers, hard ER, voting Democrat for the next 200 years is even crazier. For me, the fact that this man is so out of touch with the people just lets me know that this brother does not need to be in leadership position. At the end of the day, this was the man who had nothing to say about his city when all of that crazy stuff was going on over the weekends i think it was either earlier this year or last year look demonizing children is wrong we have to keep them safe as well have you ever taught middle school i have have you ever raised young people do you understand the risk that young people take just because they're young do you know that home plate is at the bottom of my stairs i found that out when my son was sliding down those stairs trying to score. They're young. Sometimes they make silly decisions. They do. And so we have to make sure that we are investing to make sure that young people know that they are supported. Democrat leaders making excuses after a violent teen takeover terrorizes Chicago. Hundreds rampaging through the streets, blocking traffic, smashing car windows, and destroying property. Two teens were shot during the chaos, and the whole thing was apparently organized on social media. Police were outnumbered and only managed to make 15 arrests. A woman caught up in the mayhem describing the scene after her car was attacked. I jumped in, in my car. My husband went to their hospital. What did they do? Because the guy started putting in his face. But some top Democrats think it was just teens being teens. Chicago mayor-elect Brandon Johnson condemning what happened, but also said it is, quote, not constructive to demonize youth. And the city's outgoing mayor, Lori Lightfoot, said this. If he would implement policy that was hard on crime, a lot of that stuff that going on in Chicago wouldn't take place. Let's just keep it a buck. But he probably one of them same ones that believes in defunding the police. Mr. Johnson, this question is for you. On multiple occasions, you've spoken on the topic of defunding police. In 2020, you said, quote, defunding this failed system of incarceration and policing was not just admirable, but necessary, end quote. During a town hall called Police Free Future, you commended defund organizers for, quote, an agenda that actually can transform people's lives and said, quote, removing ourselves away from state-sponsored policing. That is commendable. As far as redirecting funds, if we look at your record, you introduced a resolution and passed it with the support of others to redirect money from the sheriff's office to other areas. So first, this is a multi-part question. The first is just a yes or no. Do you acknowledge making those recorded and documented statements, yes or no? I'm not going to defund the police. If you could answer the question, though. Yeah. Do you acknowledge making the statements that I just read by quote, yes or no? What I've acknowledged is the fact that there are people who are incredibly frustrated. Mr. Johnson, when, if I could get you back to the question, yeah, of it, course. it's solely yes or no. Do you acknowledge making those statements? Look, 
you've yes already no? you've already quoted. What I'm saying is though, so you is that it provides some statements. The, of course, I'm acknowledging okay. it, but I want to so make sure that we have the context. I want to give you the opportunity to answer that. the question, but yep. I just want to move on to the next part of it. Mm -hmm. So, acknowledge which we know is to criticize their work instead of applauding them for the law and order that they keep within the communities. Are all police perfect? No, but to sit up here and continuously push this message out as if they're the problem—that's an issue. My thing is this: forget the skin color. It has nothing to do with skin color. It's about who committing the crimes, whether it's more blacks. If it's more blacks, lock them up. If it's more whites, lock them up. But y'all know Chicago, that's the place Obama lived at. I blame Obama for this because he was the one who deemed it as racist. Talking about cops were over-policing the black areas as if they were racial profiling. When the truth was, that's where majority of the crime was going on. And it had nothing to do with skin color, but he made it about race. But that just go to show you, bro, where we at today. Our leaders are soft. We need real men who going to set a standard for these young dudes, making it black or white, not blaming where they came from, not blaming how they were raised, not blaming uh, something that happened 200 years ago. But making policies, enforcing policies now is going to make these youngsters straighten up. If any of you all know Jeff Landry, he was the one who just passed the law about the Ten Commandments being back in public schools. Well, listen to this man talk about the laws that will be passed by August 1st. Jeff Landry just introduced nine new laws that's about to kill the streets, that's about to kill a game. If you a criminal, it's over for you. Why? Because no more good time. What that mean? No more parole. You don't get to do 30 months on 15 years no more. You don't get to do... 50 months on 20 years no more. You don't get to do 13 months on a five-year sentence no more. You got to walk it down day for day. You got to walk it down day for day. And I don't like it, but it's a month. As you can see, they can now electrocute your stupid ass and administer nitrogen ass. So now they got various ways they're going to alley you your stupid ass to the graveyard. And if that's how you want to go out, hey, be my guest. But being a criminal is already unfair, and being a dead criminal is extra, extra fucked up. I remember when you were 17, you used to do crime, get away with it, be tried as a juvenile, not no more. As of August 1st, if you 17 years or older, you will be tried as an adult. So no more joy riding, no more curfews, no more carrying guns because you think you're going to get a slap on the wrist and go get snack time at the juvenile hall. No, you got to go be sellies with Big Bo and pray he don't do nothing to your scare ass because shit just got real. This is a well-needed law. Why? Because people has been wilding. If you look in the streets of New Orleans, the streets of Louisiana as a whole, don't nobody care no more. You know why? The law's too lean. Now? Now? Because of this right here? You see what I'm saying? After August 1st, you gonna have niggas drastically thinking on their next move. Because if your next move is a crime, and you 20, and you get 20, you gonna be 40 when you touch down, homie. Because you're going to have to do day for day. You think people are going to be committing any crimes after that? Now, I'm not saying that it's going to be perfect because we know that no city, no state, nobody is. But when you start being hard on crime, regardless of the skin color, that curbs a lot of crime because people actually start thinking now, hey, well, shoot, I'm going to get my hand cut off. And I'm, of course, he, I'm not saying he's doing that, but I'm just using an example. But if I'm going to get my hand cut off for stealing, Maybe I just need to go get me a job. Nobody wants to lose their hand. But if you're just going to give a little pop on the wrist, then I go steal and I go do it again. Especially when you're making seers out of believers. Dudes know like, oh, okay, bro. They mean business. So let me get it together. Shoot, man. Y'all got me up here sounding like 94 Crime Bill Joe. But for real, bro, we pass laws to protect the law-abiding citizens. We do not pass laws to protect the ones who break them, bro. Mayor Johnson, do better, please, brother. Yo, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace, love. I'm out. 100, 100, 100, that's all I know Ain't taking a dime off We working, we working, we working and that for show Ain't taking no time off We serving, we serving, we serving to live a hoe Forget all that crime talk 100, 100, 100, that's all I go Yeah, that be what I'm